This day's child watching tonight, waiting for a forever family. Don't lose hope and here's why. You know, it's always our absolute joy to show you at home the miracles that happen because of this segment and because good people step forward and adopt. These miracles when kids and families are matched. This night, an adoption success story about a little girl named Skylar. And I hope when you see this, you'll feel something about adoption and decide you can make it happen in your family. <laughs> Meet Skylar, who I think has something to teach us all. Keep hoping, keep trying, keep smiling, and if you do, well, magic can happen. Skylar is magic because of her spirit and her resiliency. That's Skylar's mom, Christine, who works with children with special needs and knew Skylar needed to come home. Kids shouldn't live in facilities. Home to her home. Being in the hospital, I see a lot of kids that don't get to go home to good homes. A facility is where Skylar lived and would have lived if Christine hadn't felt the heart urges saying, this little one is yours. So Christine and her family took a step, not knowing how it would all turn out. They just trusted, and steps were multiplied for a little girl who lives her life on a set of wheels. We are grateful for every weekend we get to stay out of the hospital. We're grateful for, you know, the fact that she touched the ocean water for the first time. Like, those are the moments we live for, and we'll put up with everything else for those little moments. Is it hard? Sure, but Christine says, you just do. Like every other parent, you just do. And so they did. Loving Skylar, helping Skylar right up until adoption day. Skylar wasn't able to go to court for the hearing, so she watched a judge decree her Christine's daughter by iPad. I know we don't match physically, but we, we share our hearts. I mean, she has a heart with everybody else in our family. You know, she's one of us. Do you love your mama? Yes. yes. <laughs> Good, good. <laughs> Adoption is giving kids a second shot, a second chance, and as adults, we ask for them daily. They don't want to be held back by their history. They don't want to be held back by circumstances or events, and I think that's how we should live. I need second chances every minute of my life, and I'm so thankful to have met this family and seen a second chance for Skylar. If you want to learn more about children in our valley who are our neighbors and our teachers who are waiting for families, go to our website, please, news3lv.com, or you can call the number on your screen and talk to the people at the Adoption Exchange. It is possible. It looks hard, but you just do. You just do. Beautiful story. Hmm.